we're going to talk about the three major errors in judgment when picking your mentor. Pijama Bosses. My name is Masha Chamajar, and in this video I'm going to share with you the three major errors in judgment that people make when they're picking a mentor for their network marketing business. Now I'm sure it comes with no news to you that it's important to have a mentor for your network marketing business. Somebody you're absolutely accountable to and you can stay in touch daily. So let's look at some mistakes, some errors in judgment that we all make when we're picking a mentor for our business. Let's look at the very first one and most important one. A lot of us make a mistake or an error in judgment by picking a mentor that is currently not experiencing the results that we are seeking for. That means you really need a mentor who's currently experiencing the kind of results you're looking for. If you're looking to create a part-time income of a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand dollars per month, in your network marketing business and you're looking for a mentor, this particular mentor must be having these results right now in their business. Not three years ago and not three years from now. They must have had experience on which they can rely on and share with you day in and day out so that your journey can be more mistake free and faster to reach your result. The second error in judgment when picking a mentor for your network marketing business is picking someone that you don't trust and respect. You see, when we're talking about mentorship, when we're talking about someone that is going to be assisting us day in and day out in our business and be like a mirror to us and we're going to stay accountable to, you need to have some kind of trust and especially respect towards this person. They may not be your best friend, but you know that this person can get you to where you want to be. Therefore, it must be somebody that you will definitely be listening to, that you're not going to be responding and giving them their, all the excuses that you have. So the respect and trust must be there. Now, the third error in judgment that we sometimes make is actually picking a mentor that does not have our best interest at heart. Let me explain what I actually mean by that. You see, you could be picking different types of mentors. It could be one of your upline leaders. It could be a paid mentor. You could also be picking someone outside your organization or a cross-line leader. But I really believe you're going to have more success in working closely with someone that has your best interest at heart. I definitely believe that one of your upline leaders is going to have your best interest at heart. Also, if you want to look for a coach that you pay on a monthly basis, they will definitely work with you towards getting your results. But I don't believe that somebody who's outside your organization or perhaps somebody in your cross line always has your best interest at heart because they may already be busy building their business. They may already be busy doing the things that are priority to them. So be really careful and pick someone that has your best interest at heart in your network marketing business. So there you have it. The three major errors in judgment that we make when we pick a mentor in our network marketing business. The first one was, of course, picking someone that does not have the results that we're seeking. The second one was to pick someone that we don't truly trust or respect. And the third one is picking someone that does not have our best interest at heart. So there you have it. I certainly believe you're going to find the right mentor for yourself. Be really accountable to them. Stay in touch with them daily and go full out so that you can become a successful pajama box. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, learn more with our free video training series, The Three Rules of Success in Network Marketing. Go here and do it.